T-minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, and liftoff of Space Shuttle and Lightning. Ship crew, your mission is the assessment of the solar system. You will visit the Sun and the planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Warning, warning, approaching the Sun. Extreme temperatures expected. The Sun is the center of the solar system. It is only a star more within the infinite universe. But it is essential for the eight planets of the solar system that we will visit. The Sun was formed about 4,567 billion years ago and is believed to continue as a star for another 5,500 million years more, and then it will grow and swallow all of the planets of the solar system. The temperature of the Sun is 5,504 Celsius degrees, but its core exceeds 15.7 million degrees. This star is so massive for us that 109 Earth planets could fit inside the large of its diameter. Is it possible to calculate the age of the solar system? Scientists estimate that it was formed 4.6 billion years ago as the result of the collapse of a giant molecular cloud. Control, we are approaching Mercury. Mercury is the smallest planet and the closest to the Sun because it is 58 million kilometers from it. Its temperatures are very extreme, so it is very unlikely that there is any life there. During the day it is scalding and during the night it reaches up to minus 173 Celsius degrees. It is an inactive, rocky planet with a surface covered by many meteorite impact marks because its thin atmosphere composed of oxygen. Sodium, helium, hydrogen and potassium cannot stop them. A day on Mercury is equivalent to about 59 Earth days and one year to 88 Earth days. Mercury is visible from the Earth without a telescope or binoculars, but it is not easy to identify it at any time of the day. We are heading to the planet Venus. We have arrived at the hottest planet of the solar system. How is this possible, if Mercury is closer to the Sun than Venus? The Sun's heat combined with the elements of the Venusian atmosphere, create a greenhouse effect that increases the heat up to 462 Celsius degrees, while Mercury has a maximum temperature of 427 degrees. The surface of Venus contains craters up to 23 kilometers high and has more than 1,000 volcanoes. The highest mountain Maxwell Montes is almost 11 kilometers high. It is often called the sister planet of Earth because its similarities and closeness, but its temperature and atmospheric composition of carbon dioxide, sulfuric acid and a little water make life very unlikely. More than 40 space devices have explored Venus. Therefore we are not the first here. We are approaching the Earth, our planet, but we will only pass by to continue our journey. Our home is beautiful. It is a fantastic place with unique features and still there are many to discover. It was formed over 4,500 million years ago and is 150 million kilometers from the Sun. Its atmosphere contains nitrogen, oxygen and 1% of other elements. Water covers 71% of its surface which is the reason why it is called the Blue Planet. It is one natural satellite, the Moon, which emerged from the debris of the collision between a Mars-sized body and the Earth about 4.5 billion years ago. It is a planet with multiple and incredible natural phenomena, earthquakes, tsunamis, tides, storms, and many others. And of course, so far, it is the only place in this solar system that we know life exists. We can land in this place. Look at the intense red color of its soil. Oxidation of the iron minerals that cover its surface gives this characteristic red coloration. 
Mars is a place full of volcanoes, valleys, deserts and even frozen poles. In 2015, scientists found evidence of liquid salt water. Then, is it possible to find life on this planet? So far, there is no evidence of any life. But you will find, unique formations such as Vale's Mare and Res, a system of canyons as large as the distance between New York and Los Angeles, or Mount Olympus, the largest volcano in the solar system. Look at those large asteroids. They look like asteroids, but they are not. They are the two natural satellites of Mars called Phobos and Deimos. Before we leave, I have to inform you that Mars belongs to the group of the four terrestrial or telluric planets, and its size is roughly half the size of the Earth. The terrestrial planets are Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars. To reach the next stop in our journey, we will have to cross the asteroid belt. Scientists believe that Jupiter is a failed star, as it did not grow enough to form a star, but still, 1,300 Earth planets could fit inside its volume. It has at least 50 satellites, but there may be 17 more. The most important are Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. A large liquid hydrogen ocean that covers Jupiter is responsible for the most powerful magnetic field in this solar system. It is an average temperature of minus 148 Celsius degrees, and an atmosphere composed of hydrogen, helium, methane and ammonia, elements that do not allow the development of life. The color of its bands is due to the presence of sodium, potassium and iodine. The known great red spot on Jupiter is a giant storm whose diameter is twice the size of the Earth. Look, this is how the Earth looks compared with the size of Jupiter. Our next destination is the planet that is distinguished by its system of rings. It is a gas giant planet with a mass about 95.1 times that of Earth and a distance of 1,400 million kilometers from the Sun. Hydrogen, helium, and methane are the elements that make up its atmosphere. Seven large rings made by ice dust particles, each having a thickness of about one kilometer, surround Saturn. It has 53 natural satellites and nine more to be confirmed, but so far, the largest of them is Titan, the second greatest moon in the solar system, and its size is slightly bigger than the planet Mercury. Saturn is the farthest planet in the solar system that you can see without a telescope from Earth. Uranus is about 2.9 billion kilometers from the Sun. It is a gaseous planet with a surface of methane. It has a temperature of minus 216 Celsius degrees, the coldest in the solar system, even more than Neptune. Uranus' high winds reach up to 900 kilometers per hour. It has a small ring system and 27 moons, whose names come from several characters from the works of Shakespeare and Alexander Pope. A year on Uranus lasts about 84 Earth years. Neptune is the farthest planet from the Sun in the solar system. Look, what a beautiful blue color. That is because its atmosphere is composed of hydrogen, helium, and methane. It is freezing here. Neptune is 4.5 billion kilometers from the Sun, the reason why its temperature is minus 214 Celsius degrees. It has 13 natural satellites and Triton, the largest of all has a frosted surface covered with geysers that eject icy material. Although they are barely noticeable, Neptune has six surrounding rings. One of the most distinctive features of Neptune is its great dark spot. We have reached almost the end of the solar system. From here we can see how astonishing is the universe. Far away you can see Pluto. It is considered a dwarf planet but, it is also part of the solar system. After the successful expedition, it is time to go home. Mission accomplished. <laughs>